Today, we're gonna be taking a look at the fastest Fall Guys speedruns since season three. Starting off with the speed slider world record, 34.54 seconds, here we go. I have a pretty fast speedrun on this level too. I think I got like 37 seconds. Look at him go, dude. They do a lot of diving. It looks like they don't just slide down. It's like they're canceling their momentum or something. This is super clean. Oh, he didn't go middle. Most people go on that little green bridge. Oh, this is not the path that I took. This is different. And that's actually a lot faster. I didn't even think to do that. All right, next we got the puzzle path world record. Here we go. I suck at this level, by the way. Like I really, really do. Okay, got it right on the first try. How is he just guessing it perfectly every time? He doesn't even have time to look at the path. He's just going for it. How does he know? This guy's like 600 IQ. How does he know the path like straight away every time? What is this? Wow. I could never do that. All right, next we got the track attack world record. Here we go. I've actually been trying to speedrun this level recently because there's a show that just came out with Track Attack. Holy. Oh, I think this world record was before they added the dive slide mechanic because he's just walking down. But this is really quick though. Oh, and he jumps on that platform. That's interesting. I usually just dive right for the slide. Clean. Next up, you know we had to add this to the list, the Lily Leapers world record. Here we go. He's gonna take the hammer. Oh my. This guy's really good with the 360 dives. I can do them too, but not as good as this. So this is actually Karim that got the world record. This guy is insane. Holy. Bro, I probably blinked only like three times while he was doing that run. <laughs> Next up, we have the full tilt world record. Oh, he's not gonna take the low gravity zone? I thought he would have taken the low gravity zone to get launched or something. He was a little slow on that disc there. So what does he get? Like so far, this looks pretty normal. There's nothing like crazy. So how does he get the world record? He's gotta do some sort of glitch, right? Cause so far everything looks completely normal to me. Okay, he's gonna go for the pipe, nice. Still, this just looks normal to me. Nothing crazy happening so far. He's gonna go for the next pipe. I mean, this was clean, but like nothing crazy. I, I guess to get the full tilt world record, you just have to make no mistakes. Nothing crazy, but I mean, yeah, clean, I guess. All right, next we have our first hunt round of the video. This is the Frantic Factory world record. Here we go. He literally just gets every button right in front of him, right at his spawn. Okay, that's just luck. That's 100% luck. I mean, it's skill to get the buttons quickly, but that's complete luck. All right, next we have the Bean Hill Zone world record. Here we go. This is the Sonic level. They actually added this to Solo Show since the new season, which is pretty cool. Okay, he's gonna go up the stairs. You get a lot of, a lot of points at that part. He only needs like, 10 more, 11 more. He got a bunch of points at that one section with the stairs, which definitely sped up his run. Yeah, that was clean. All right, we have the Hit Parade world record. This is by City Limits. I know this guy. But yeah, let's see what he does. Oh, he's gonna get launched by the bar? That was clean. He got launched twice, back to back. He's probably gonna get some boosts from the hammers too, right? Let's see what he does here. Yep, there it is. Another one? Clean. All right, next we have the roll on world record. Here we go. This is kind of low quality. 
But we're, we're gonna watch it anyway. We gotta see these world records. Oh my god, what the heck was that? Holy, I didn't know you could go that fast from the hammer. I usually try to get boosted by the hammer too, but I never get it that quickly. That was insane. You got Lily Leaper's level speed with that. Look how fast he was going. Yeah, this was super clean. I don't think that's beatable, to be honest. I, I don't know how you would beat that. All right, next we have the Ski Fall world record. Okay, he's just gonna go straight out the side. This is basically what I do. I just go to the end and get the gold hoop three times. What? They, they qualified with only one hoop. I think that was a glitch. That was kind of crazy. All right, next we have the Skyline Stumble world record. Let's see this. Okay. Oh, he dives onto the platforms. He didn't even jump. Is there a big Yidus? Because he would get a lot of speed from that. Okay, there's no big Yidus here. So far, everything looks pretty normal. Nothing too crazy going on. Just no mistakes. That's the main thing. Is there a big Yidus at the end here? Yep, called it. There is. Yeah, he gets a lot of speed from this, I imagine. Yep. Straight to the end. Wow. Next, we have the Pipe Dream World Record. Oh, he's getting bounced by those things. I didn't even know that that could give you that much speed. Okay, this is the version with the thrusters. What's he gonna do here? Oh, I thought he was gonna use the thrusters to get himself launched, but no, he just went through normally. Yeah, so far, nothing crazy is going on. Oh, he ragdolled. Ooh, that, pro that probably slowed him down. He did ragdoll there. Okay, that was clean. He got hit by the bar. You know what? I'm gonna be honest. I feel like this world record is beatable. 100% it's beatable. Because he did ragdoll at that one part. If you, get, if you get a cleaner section on that, and you don't ragdoll, you could definitely beat this record. But this, is, this was clean, though. Everything else was good except for that, but I'm, I'm just saying, if you do everything he did and don't ragdoll, you probably could beat this record. All right, next we have the Slime Climb World Record. This is by Spike Legend. Spike Legend always has the Slime Climb World Record. He's beaten his own record, like, multiple times, I think. Wait, how did he get launched with the flipper like that? I've seen that before, but I, I don't- I've tried to do that. I don't, it doesn't make any sense to me. Okay, he's gonna take the hammer skip. Yeah, this was clean. Next, we have the tiptoe world record. Let's see what he does here. This is apparently only four seconds long. This is gonna be really crazy. How did he slide like that? All right, next we have the star chart world record. I'm usually pretty slow. What? Huh? Okay, what? How? Why? Why do you spawn there? I've, ne I've genuinely never seen that before. What the hell? How does that happen? Why is there just a random checkpoint there? The Tundra Run world record. Let's see what he does here. Okay, he's gonna go for the hex tiles. This variation of Tundra Run, I probably got like a million times during season two. Wow, he yeah, that's actually really clean. He skipped that entire part. Oh, he's gonna get launched by the thruster. Nice. That was a really, really clean Superman. And then he's gonna use the two flippers. Oh! Usually you can use the two flippers to launch it at the same time and then you'll go straight to the end. He didn't even do that. So honestly, you could probably beat that record if you do that skip too. The wall guy's world record. Let's see this. Okay, he's parkouring through the first part. Can he keep it up? Okay, he's gonna grab here. Then he's got the fan block right here. So this is definitely a combination of skill and luck. Cause you have to make sure you have a really good path of like blocks to walk across and parkour across. That was super clean. The speed circuit world record. What the heck? He got like two super clean dives there. I didn't even know you could dive that quickly. Like on that bounce part. Okay, this is like next level speed. 
I've never seen anyone do this level that quickly. Look at that. Look at those dives on the bouncers. That's insane. Like, I, I dive at that part too, but not like that. I usually get like one dive, maybe. He's got, he's getting two. Yeah, this is super clean. Oh, he got a little hit by that, that obstacle too. He doesn't even go for the speed boost there. He just dives, which I mean, yeah, it is faster though. Whoa. Yeah, that was clean. The Slime Scraper World Record. This one is by Succeed, of course, the god of speedrunning. I've actually seen this speedrun before, but it was a long time ago. Let's watch it again. Yeah, I remember he did some crazy stuff here. He's gonna get launched by the bar. That's standard. But that was super clean though. He landed right on the disc instead of having to jump to it. Then he goes up here. He's gonna get a second laser skip. Yeah, that's, this guy's unmatched. No one is better than Succeed, bro. Okay, this is the Fruit Shoot world record that I found. And apparently this is literally from season one of Fall Guys, like OG season one from 2020. That's actually really surprising that this guy still owns the world record after that long. He's, he, he had to have done some sort of glitch, right? There's not even a big Edis. Okay, dude, yeah. He got hit by a watermelon and then launched all the way to the end. Yeah, that's definitely patched by now. That's why he, he hasn't gotten his record beaten yet. Okay, so with season three, we got some new shows called Time Attack, and it's like a new version of speedrunning. This is Time Attack Track Attack world record. Let's check it out. Oh, this is Crispy Squid. I know this guy. Another one where they go off the edge. Please, please, please. <laughs> I just woke up to this. 11.34 seconds. Another one where they jump off of the edge and then spawn at the end. It's such a weird glitch. Why does that happen? All right, the time attack Lily Leapers world record. And it's by Karim, of course. This guy owns not only the Lily Leapers world record, but also the Lily Leapers time attack world record. So in this version of Lily Leapers, you don't actually focus on, you know, going to the finish line the fastest. Your main focus is trying to get all these bubbles the fastest, because then you can save up your time. And this guy's gotten pretty much every good bubble he could get. 1.96 seconds. A one second Little Leaper speedrun. That's wild. All right, and the last time attack world record, Treetop Tumble. And it's by Karim. Karim owns not only the Little Leapers world record, but also the Treetop Tumble time attack world record. Is he gonna get launched by the Rhino? No, he's not. This record is probably beatable, I'm not gonna lie. But that's crazy that Karim has two Time Attack World Records. If you wanna see more reaction videos like this, I actually do have a reaction channel that I'm gonna start posting on again. So make sure you guys go subscribe to this, the link is in the description.